What is going on you guys? John Barsicos here. Today we're back in the shop with, you guessed it, a new body for our portal axle crawler. And uh, this is going to be a nice body as well. Now this, as you may have guessed, is not a Proline body. But this is an actual Dodge Power Wagon. I, I always love the look of these classic bodies. This is very nice. And obviously, if you have been following my channel for a while now, you know that I am a classy guy. You know, I like classic stuff. And this is the pure topic right now. A, lo a lot of these things are out there and they are chopping the cabs, you know, so they're chopping the beds, you know, leaving the cabs and um, putting roll bars on the back. They do that mostly with the original Proline product. This is uh, this is not a Proline body, but the best thing about this that, that attracted me is that unlike the Proline body, um, this is single piece. The single piece body, you know, reduces flex. It reduces a lot of risks. Also, um, if you have a two piece body, meaning you have a cab and the bed. Um, it is very likely that they will break and this has less chance of doing that anyway guys today I'm gonna be doing a little video as well about uh, you know the process of again Cutting this thing out of the mold as you can see here is the mold and you have the lines Right there you have to follow these lines and cut it by a special tool. I will show you I did three videos about cutting out and uh, painting bodies, but uh, you know, I love doing videos and I know that you guys, you know, won't regret them. So these are the two main tools that you need to have, guys. You, ha you need to have this uh, special scissors, which I got from online. I will link it in the video description, as you can see. It has a curve to it. So it helps you cut the curves, you know, of the wheel arches and stuff. Plus it's, it's a bit, you know, special because it is very good for cutting bodies. And I have this... Uh, Wood reamer, which is literally a cold shape tool, and use this to drill holes, you know, for putting a uh, body mounts through. I don't know if I'm gonna be going that way, I have uh, magnetic body mounts in mind, but you never know, guys. You never know. First, you have to cut it out and then seat it on the body, and then you see, you know, what you need to do. Maybe you go magnetic body mount or whatever. We'll see. But first, with this, our first step, guys, is to cut this thing out of its mold. Alright guys, so the body is finally all cut out of the mold and I went ahead and filed down the edges as best as I could. You know, some imperfections always remain, but I don't care. It looks very decent and it looks good to me. In the meantime, I had to modify my chassis a bit because if you notice, there are no rock sliders anymore because uh, the body is slightly narrow because uh, these style of bodies, um, you know, the older trucks used to be narrow in the middle and they used to have, you know, the big uh, fender flares and stuff. So I had to, these things are expected, guys, you know, I assumed, you know, I, I 
I told you in my first video that I had to, you know, readjust to my new body, so I didn't care. So I just, you know, I expected this to happen, and I, I even had to um, lower the battery tray as I could. I fabricated these two plates myself um, for obviously, you know, uh, adapting to the new body. I had to use the chassis original uh, magnet body mounts because I don't want to ruin this body really by just putting uh, just regular post through this is a very very nice body and it happens to fit very nice and the magnets places um, really do match very good to this body so I'm going to try for the first time to work with magnets then we'll see you know what time but I don't expect them to not wear good. The, the magnets are very, very tough. Um, I have bought magnets before separate and uh, not like these. And uh, these ones are very, very tough. So the, the body shouldn't fly off or something, you know, it should, it should hang on there. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing now, guys, is I'm going to be scuffing the body from the inside with this um, dishwashing foam pad. And, and then I will degrease it with some brake clean and some um, towels. And then I'm going to be masking the fenders, fender flares, these parts here. I'm going to be painting this flame hot metal orange. Focus on that. This paint looks awesome. I, I already tested this. I got this uh, spare piece, you know, which I cut out of the body mold. And it looks very nice. And then I'm going to paint the, uh, the fender flares. These are going to be just jet black it's gonna look absolutely f amazing i have a picture to show you my idea of choice of color and uh, i like it guys i think it's gonna look something great i wanted something orange very bad so and uh, i think this it will suit this i or i originally wanted uh red and black but i have too many red and black rigs so this is gonna be something nice and new
All right, guys, so she's back from paint. Finally, the paint is all finished. She's looking like a mess, but believe me, guys, once all of the masking and uh, overspray film is off of it, it will look amazing, guys. I did the best of, of my abilities on this one. I think it turned out very good. Let's see the result. guys so I removed most of my masking from underneath now you may wonder why I must this all of that masking um, from underneath well I sprayed white paint as you can see and you spray white um, to brighten up the orange I, I did that so the, the orange is more bright because I went ahead and just undercoated of this um, black the orange would have not have been like that bright plus you know it would have like got a darker uh, color to it and it wouldn't you know be so much you know noticeable um and now it's preserved and it, it should be more bright i learned this from my uh, first body i did the ram if you haven't seen that though that video go ahead and see it now um and now i learned my lesson so to brighten up the color especially on, on light colors like this you know you don't have a dark blue or something it's best to undercoat it with white so the color will retain its uh, brightness plus you know it will be more um, bright and you know that's the thing you, you don't need a too much dark color especially when having black parts like you know this so now um, all of the masking is um, gone from underneath I sprayed the fenders black and my grill because I don't have a sticker sheet and it looks more better i should say um so now it's the most important moment guys you all know i love this moment it's taking off the overspray film this turned out very nice guys i can tell you by that this is so nice you just peel back all of that work you just put into this This is so beautiful. I still have to remove the window mask, but those are no issue. Wow, the color is so beautiful. It has like metallics in it. I will show you close. That is so nice. Very beautiful. As you can see, this overprotective film comes from factory with these bodies, with everybody. Um, and it's important to not remove it until you paint because then you have to remask again or else you, you ruin your paint job with your over spray and I think I have some here hmm because when I must some of it came off hmm as you can see I have some over spray uh, I will I will look into how to remove that, but with this removed, guys, check this out. I will remove the window mask now. There she is, guys. This thing looks beautiful. Wow, this color. If you see this in in person, guys, this is a metallic paint, and it looks like show quality. This is so nice. I'm amazed by this. This is so dang nice, and the black is amazing. You, you you have to put time and effort in these things, guys. But let me tell you this. When you're finished, you are not going to regret all of this work. This turned out very nice. Now, this body, you know, since it's a bit of lower quality than Proline stuff, you don't get too much of good stickers you just get this simple sticker sheet you have um 
headlight stickers for fake le headlights. I'm not going to be going that way. I have some real like a uh, beacon uh, style like headlight. Um, you have the wipers here. I'm thinking I'm going to be putting those on. Yeah, those are the eh, most wordful thing in the sticker sheet. This, I don't know what what this is exactly. I think this goes under here. I think I'm going to put that on. Yeah. And these go on the back here on the bed. I have some Dodge emblems from my other ProLine bodies, which I did, which happen to be Dodges as well. I have my Dodge Ram and my Dodge Ram Charger. And those turn out very nice, especially the Ram Charger. The Ram Charger is a jewel. That thing is so nice. Um, if you haven't watched the video, guys, go ahead and see it as well. You guys will love it. I'm going to put a Dodge sticker here. Um, I will find some of my leftovers from those builds. And uh, I will have to find the Power Wagon stickers because... Again, this this doesn't come with that stuff, but um, those are little things, guys. The body is done and it's looking absolutely fantastic. I will put some goodies in the back, as you guys know. I like to do that, you know, some 3D print stuff and accessories. I uh, tail lights. These things have very little tail lights, um, and they like they have like the sticking out style. Let's see how the final product look, guys. You know. I have to still mount the uh, magnetic body mounts, but I can do that behind camera. Ooh. <laughs> Check this thing out. This looks amazing. This thing looks amazing, guys. Check out. Focus on that paint. It's hard to focus on this paint, but it looks so nice check out the metallics in that baby imagine seeing this in real life right now wow this is one nice rig i just put it on there for now um it's not mounted yet guys but i'm just showing it to you wow it is super nice all right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, I haven't put, obviously, the stickers in, but I may do an update video. You know, it's, it's not a big deal to just put in some stickers. And then um, I even may do, like, a update post on my Facebook page. So if you haven't, go ahead and follow me on that. If you love these builds, especially this one, this turned out very, very nice. Um, I also will put some accessories in the back and, you know, some other little things. Um, I will source the headlights and also I have planned a custom-made bumper which I should fabricate I think because it's a bit light in the front since the motor is in the front you know you don't have a battery in the front so I think I'm gonna do a good old chamba style heavy bumper so you know it will have some con some counterweight in the front this paint is amazing guys as I said I am impressed. I'm impressed. It's it's a different quality of paint because the orange was different than the fast track, uh, fast dry, whatever they are. I use, um, but it is very nice. Then the black and the white were fast tracks. Like I have this stuff. I will show you. It's this stuff that I use. Fast finish. It's from fast tracks. This is amazing paint, and the orange I used is this stuff right here it's this stuff so amazing paint guys and amazing skill in this thing guys i am very impressed by myself i didn't think it was gonna come out this nice i mean even the lines check out those lines come on focus amazing but anyway this thing is finished